Shopify payment setup. How to set up payments on Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with setting up payments on your Shopify store. Now, there are several different ways that you can do this and there are several different methods to accept payments on your Shopify store. So to ensure that you're able to set up your checkout, you do need to have some type of payment system on your site. And this is really important because whenever you are launching your store and if you don't have a valid payment system set up, then a lot of your customers are not going to return because they're going to feel like your website is fraudulent or if your setup is not complete yet, it just does not look very professional. So it only takes a couple of minutes to set up and it can be really great to do this before you launch your store. To do this, all you have to do is simply head on over into your Shopify dashboard. Once you are in your Shopify dashboard, you're gonna click on settings on the left. And once you click on settings on the left, you are going to click on payments on the left panel. Once you click on payments, click on activate Shopify payments. Now, once you click on activate Shopify payments, you will have to complete a few simple steps. Firstly, you have to submit information about your business. This includes verification as well as the person who is filling out the store, you know, filling out the store info to either be a director, owner, or executive, and to ensure that everything is handled in accordance with Shopify's privacy policy. Then you have two-step authentication that you have to turn on, and then you have to add your banking information to activate Shopify payments. Now, Shopify payments are the easiest way to accept payments on Shopify. They have a low transactional fee and do work in most parts of the world. Simply click on submit details over here and proceed with your Shopify payment setup. So you have to answer a couple of questions such as how you are running your store, your account representative's information, their residential address, then you have to provide store details and then your store goes for review. It does not take long. If all of the information you provided was valid, then you're going to get approved instantly and you will have your Shopify payments activated. However, for people that are in regions where Shopify payments are not an option, you can add other providers because you might have a really specific type of payment that you want to accept, which Shopify payments might not support. So we're going to click on see all providers if we want to look at alternative providers. In your provider section, you're now going to have a list of all of the available providers. You can go on ahead and search for any provider. So if I want to use Stripe, I can search for that. If I want to use maybe, if you want to use any type of provider, you can search for that. But if you don't know what provider you are looking for, if you only know the type of payment method that you're looking to accept, then you're going to scroll down and you can see you have additional payment methods. Click on add payment method and you can actually search and filter via payment methods as well. So for example, I want to accept Ola money. I can just filter out and take a look at all of the payment providers that are offering this specific method of payment. Once you find a payment provider that offers this specific method of payment, click on install and complete your store information. One thing to note is that for any type of provider, you do need to have an account with the provider. For example, if I go on to my Stripe account over here and I want to link this, then I can just follow the same step. So I can go into payments and I can click on choose a provider and I'll just have to search for Stripe over here. Once I search for Stripe, because I already have an account, it is going to lead me to the Stripe page and it's going to ask me, this is the account I want to link to. So select the account you'd like to link to your Shopify store. I can select this account and then click on connect to complete the connection between my Shopify store and my Stripe account. Now, these are payment acceptance providers for methods like cards. But what happens if you want to accept other forms of payment? 
So if your store accepts payments by the delivery driver, so if it's cash on delivery, or you have a specific local type of wire transfer or mobile transfers, which are often popular in individual cities with their own type of popular mobile transfer method, then you can add that in your Shopify store with a simple manual payment method creation. To do this, click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings, click on payments on the left. Once you click on payments on the left, you are going to scroll down and you will see manual payment methods. Now I will show you guys how you can add all types of manual payment methods, including cash on delivery and your own wire transfer. So click on manual payment method and you have four basic types. You can either create a custom payment method, money orders, bank deposits, or cash on delivery. We're going to add cash on delivery. And you have to add additional details. So pay with cash to the delivery driver upon the arrival of your product, upon the delivery of your product. And then the courier will call you before you arrive. Please keep the exact change. And these are the payment instructions. The instructions are displayed after the person has selected and has chosen to purchase the item, whereas the additional details are displayed under the payment method. I'm going to activate cash on delivery and this is one way that I can now accept payments on my Shopify store. Now to add another type of payment method all I have to do is click on manual payment method and then click on create custom payment. Let's say I have Lizzo Mobi Pay and this is some type of mobile payment option. So I can just add the phone number and you can people can just transfer here send a screenshot to xyz at email or to this number like this like this people can also do mobile payments because oftentimes in a lot of areas mobile payments are really popular and have become a really big part of the financial infrastructure that you might be present on so for that reason you want to ensure that your customers have multiple varying options that they can pay you with not only that, if you have things such as a bank app or if people want to pay using Apple Pay, you can ensure that the provider that you're using has Google Pay or Apple Pay, depending on whatever is more popular in your region. Additionally, you can also accept payments using PayPal. PayPal has one of the lowest transactional fees at only 1% whereas the rest of the payment providers that are available have a minimum of a 2% transactional fee. This even includes Shopify payments, especially on the basic plan, they have a 2% transactional fee for every sale that you're making. So if you wanna cut down on that, try to boost your PayPal and promote PayPal offers. You can click on activate PayPal over here and then click on activate. Once you click on activate, you will have to complete your PayPal sign up and you can log on to your PayPal account to then accept PayPal payments. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the Shopify payments. This includes all types of payments from cash, cards to mobile and wire transfers. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and have a great day ahead.